everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling, and welcome back to me as well. It's been quite a long time. Today I'm going to be creating a vellum tip up all about this topic of anxiety that I know many of us struggle with. Now, it's actually been quite a while since I filmed this video from the time that I filmed it to the time I'm doing this voiceover, so we'll see how much I can remember to share with you. I am working in my Promise Bible today. This is a King James Version journaling Bible that has things for you to color in as well as pages for you to create your own artwork on. And I was going to be finishing the topic acceptance today, and I didn't look ahead well enough, but when I journaled in Ephesians 1, I went ahead and journaled the following verses, which were actually the last verses listed on that section under acceptance. So instead of wrapping up acceptance today, as I thought I was going to be doing, we're going to jump on ahead to the next topic in this Promise Bible, all about anxiety. I've been looking forward to going through this topic for myself and for others. As you can see, I've journaled this passage before in my single column journaling Bible, and today I'm going to be journaling it for the second time in my my promise Bible. So this book here is the complete guide to Bible journaling, and I love it. It has tons and tons of extras in the back, stickers and margin art and all kinds of stuff. My daughters used most of the stickers out of it, but they also have these vellum pre-printed art pieces for you to use in your Bible. And I see a lot of people asking questions. How do I use these? What do I do with them? So I'm actually going to use two different ones today in two different ways to maybe show you some ideas. There's plenty of other ways you can use them as well, but I thought this was what was really speaking to me today. This idea of casting our anxieties on on him, these kind of little signs that hang from ropes and are linked together kind of spoke to me and helped me kind of identify that thought of casting our cares on him. And then this really fun kind of doodly box thing had just the right number of boxes for the word anxiety, and I thought that was just perfect. So what I'm doing here is I just wrote the word anxiety in the piece of art on the right there. And my plan is to go ahead and use that in the margin of this journaling Bible. And then here on the major piece of art, this is going to actually be my tip up. Now, some people would just say this is a tip in, and that's totally correct as well. I just sometimes call them tip ins if they are in the binding of my Bible, tip ups if they flip up, tip outs if they flip out, and so on and so forth. Kind of silly, but it's just a term that I wanted to share with you. So I'm writing the scripture out, cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. Now, I don't ever use fine point Sharpies in my Bible because they will bleed, but on vellum, I find that they do just a really great job of acting like an outlining pen, a liner pen. So I'm using my Sharpie here to go over my pencil, which I will very soon be erasing to neaten things up. And that's how I'm adding some lettering to these pre-drawn templates. Now you can also find pre-drawn templates in that book that are already done. They're fully complete. And so you wouldn't have to add anything to them. You could just simply color them and paste them into your Bible or do whatever seems fun and worshipful to you. So now that I've got that done, I am grabbing my Prismacolor colored pencils. And you guys remember that I picked up this small set because everyone really raves about Prismacolored pencils. And so I'm continuing to use them, continuing to experiment with them, but I still continue to not really be wowed by them. Um, and I'm so sorry. I know that people disagree with me on that. And so that's totally fine. But yeah, I was just still kind of disappointed with the texture of them and how they're working for me. So I'm going to continue using them, like I said, but I did, spoiler alert, get a wonderful set of colored pencils for Christmas, and I'm really loving them. So if you're interested in brands of colored pencils and how they work, be sure you subscribe to this channel and you won't miss upcoming videos where I'm featuring my new colored pencils that are everything I hoped and dreamed they would be, kind of what I was hoping and dreaming these Prisma colors would be. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm using them here. They work just fine. They just weren't really wowing me as much as I had hoped that they would. 
So back to the process here, I'm just picking some different colors and I'm gonna be using the same colors over on the word anxiety to just tie it all together, but there's no right or wrong way here. I also used a little metallic pen to color in the little chain links between these little signs and that's just gonna link everything together. Now let's talk about anxiety. I totally discovered that I was suffering from anxiety, like clinically, and I didn't realize it because I felt like I was at peace. I felt like I wasn't worrying or anything like that. And I think that maybe there's a difference between clinical anxiety, which is kind of medical and things like that, versus the anxiety talked about here in Philippians. They definitely can coexist and they can definitely be related, I think. But I also think that there's a medical condition of anxiety that is perhaps different from the anxiety that's being talked about here because anxiety that's being talked about in the bible is a sin it's a sin to be anxious about anything it says don't be anxious about anything but then there's this other sort of medical condition and sometimes you can't help it without outside help and definitely the help from the lord and the healing that he provides and i don't want to call a medical condition a sin. So I think that the anxiety that I'm focusing on here as we study anxiety together is the anxiety that we are commanded to avoid. So in this case, this is in 1 Peter 5, 7, we are told to cast all our cares on him because he cares for us. And that is how we are to combat anxiety. And I think this form of anxiety is a lack of trust in God. I think this form of anxiety is worry. I think this form of anxiety is what's talked about in Matthew 6, when we are commanded to not worry about what tomorrow holds, but to trust in Jesus. So real quickly here, I did cut those out, and then I just used my Elmer's glue stick to put these into my Bible. You can see the tip up. I only glued down the very top piece, and the margin art, I went ahead and glued the whole thing down. And then finally, I'm adding a little question mark, as if to say, anxiety? Are you suffering from it? Here is the best step you can take. Cast your cares on him, because he cares for you. I'm going to go ahead and underline that verse in 1 Peter 5, 7, and I have a lot more learning to do about this topic of anxiety. I'm very much looking forward to reading these scriptures about it. I am welcoming the Holy Spirit to convict me in my own life of anxieties that I can battle against and fight against and cast onto the Lord. So I hope you're going to join me through this next topic, anxiety. I hope that this blesses you. I don't want this to discourage anyone or increase anxiety in us. But most importantly, please jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. Thank you for watching. Find me over on Facebook. I've got freebies over there. We have a wonderful community. Visit me on Etsy. I have a lot of pre-drawn templates that I've created myself over there for sale. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up, comment below, leave a question, and I would love to hear from you. God bless.